everyone, it's Yejin here, and today I want to share with you guys five unique things about Korean high school. Well, without further ado, let's get into it! Number one, in South Korean high schools, we have tall desks that you can use while standing up. We all have sleepy times that we just can't concentrate on our studies. Well, in South Korean high schools, we have these long desks at the back of the classroom that you can use when you're tired or sleepy. So all you have to do is just wig yourself up, stand up, go to the back, and just study there. Now I think this is an incredible invention because you normally don't sleep when you're standing up, right? Number 2. In South Korean high schools, we have this special system called Yaja. In full, it means Yagan Chase. So there's this area in school full of desks, and students just spend their time studying on their own. And I'm pretty sure that every high school in Korea has this system, only there could be a slight difference of the time. As for my school, we start right after school ends and finishes at 11. Number 3. We eat dinner at school! Yes, that's right. Kids doing yaja or other activities have supper at school. And personally, I think it's a great idea because you don't have to waste your time going home for dinner and come back to school again. But it also means that you don't get to eat with your family. So obviously, the only meal you get to have with them is breakfast. Number four, there's an educational system called Mungkwa and Ikwa. So Mungkwa is basically a department where you study language arts and social studies specifically, while Ikwa is a place where you study math and science, you know, those kind of things specifically. You normally choose it on your first year and it starts at the second year and it basically has effect in the subject you choose on the college scholastic ability test. Finally, number five. In Korean high schools, we have this annual test called Borigosa, which is a pre-test of the college scholastic ability test. We have it on March, June, September, and November. And basically, the whole high schools in Korea take the same test the same day. And I'll tell you, this test is much more difficult than the school exam. Well, this is it for this video. I really hope you liked it, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!